Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called Inject Anything from DNN Stuff. Now, this module, with this module, what you can do is you can inject in the .network pages anything you want. And what can be those things? What could be those things? Those things can be uh, JavaScript. They can be social bookmarking that that requires JavaScript as well. It can be a uh, cascading style sheet uh, information that you need to include in the page. But analyze that any type of scripting or any coding that you need to insert in a page, you can use this module uh, for, to do that. Now, we're gonna try this module today. I have downloaded the module already and we're going to try with Google Analytics. Now, .tattoo comes with a Google Analytics feature automatically built in. So we don't necessarily need such module to do just Google Analytics. But for the sake of our demonstration of our example, we're going to use this module with Google Analytics, Analytics code inserted into it. So let's go to our development website. And I'm going to log in to the back end as super user, as I have to install this module. We'll install it as a regular module. So we're gonna go to host, module definitions. Then from here, we're gonna go to the action menu and then install module. Now we're gonna browse and here is the module. I'm just gonna select it. Now there's a version for this module for .NET 4 as well, in case you are using an older version. So we have select the module, let's hit next, hit next again, next again, accept the license, hit next. And let's see if everything went fine. Yeah, installation successful, perfect. Let's click return. Now from here, I'm gonna open uh, the home page. And I will install the module in the home page. So let's go to the module drop down. And there I should see DNN stuff, inject anything. So let's select it and hit add module. So the module was added here at the top. Now let's have a look at the settings of this module. So let's go to options. Now under options, we have a couple of options in terms of insertion points. It can insert inside the module. It can insert in the head, in the page header. It can insert, and then it has very specific and fine grained options here that you can insert scripts in anything, as the module says, at, right after the opening of the body tag right after the opening of the form tag or right before the closing form, like right before the closing body as well. So just if, if this module was just inserting uh, scripts anywhere in the page that the module was located, I would not really advise to use it because you could do that very much by using just a regular module, HTML module, and just insert the code in the module header but in this case, just those options alone, they pay for the module. Because if we if we have a look here at uh, Google Analytics, they mention very specifically that we should we should place this code in the head tag. So in with this module, we can place the any code, any any chunk of code here, right in in the in the right spot in the exact right spot that is required by in our case by google or in your case might be another script may might be something else there maybe again social bookmarking uh, scripts might be google adsense whatever it is but you can use this module and place the code exactly where you want now the next option is called source so you can select if you want to insert the code right here under uh, this area, or if you want uh, to to load from a file, 
like Fire Explorer, or if you want a standard script. So that's another interesting option here. You can select from pre-existing and, and pre-configured scripts that are already built into the module. So there are a couple of uh, options here. You can, you have the add this uh, link. You have uh, Google Analytics, Google Charts, Twitter widget, even YouTube video. If, if you select each one of those, it comes with uh, some, some uh, fine, uh, some granular settings for each one of those scripts. In our case, let's go to freeform text and I'm going to copy Google Analytics code. I'm going to paste here. I'm going to add this to the header of my page. So here is my code. I'm going to keep it enabled and I'm not going to check the debug option. Once this is done, I'm just going to hit update. Now, assuming that everything worked fine, I'm going to view the source code, the code of this, of this page. So if I click view page source, see at the top in the, inside the head, uh, tag, I do have the script that I have just uploaded. So this is how the module works. So if I log out now, I just want to quickly show something, one thing quickly. If I log out, the module title is still showing up and we don't want that because of course this has to be something hidden, something very discreet. So if we log in back again, we can hide that very easily by just going to the module settings and making sure that, of course, we will not disable the view module. No, that's not the way to go. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the page settings and display container, uncheck that and hit update. Now we have again the module there. If I log out, it will no longer show the title, but if I view the source code, it will be right here at the top. The, the other thing that I want to mention quickly is in our case, we would like this code to be added to each and every page on the site. So I can to do that. Again, I can go to the action menu, go to settings and under settings, I can specify that this module should display on all pages and I can click that to do this. So this was a quick overview of the module called uh, inject anything from DNN stuff. And with this module, you can add JavaScript, you can add social bookmarking that requires some scripting. You can add CSS files. You can add any type of content of coding content within uh, any page on your .NET 2 website. Okay. So thank you very much. And that's it for now. Bye.